Let's look at number one. It's 143 minus blank equals seven. So we need to find out that blank. And in order to find the blank, we have to do 143 minus seven because the blank plus seven equals 143. So 143 minus seven. So this is 13. Then this is three. And this will be six. This will be three. This will be one. So the blank is 136. So 143 minus 136 equals seven. Let's try another one. Let's look at number four. Oh. Okay, let's look at number four, which is 153 minus blank equals five. So 153 minus 5 because in this case we're trying to find the blank. So this is 13 and this is 4. So 13 minus 5 is 8, 4 minus 0 is 4, and this will be 1. So 153 minus 148 is 5. Let's go to the next page. Let's look at number one. 125 times 16 times 16. So 5 times 6 is 30. We add the 3 here. 2 times 6 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. We add that 1 here from the 15. 1 times 6 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7, and then to move on to the second digit, we add the 0 here. 5 times 1 is 5, 2 times 1 is 2, and 1 times 1 is 1, and we can add the 0 here as a placeholder. Okay, so 0 plus 0 is 0, 5 plus 5 is 10, we add that 1 here. 1 plus 7 is 8, 8 plus 2 is 10 again we add that one here one plus one is two so 125 times 16 is equal to 2000 let's look at 421 times 10 now here we can use the trick we don't have to multiply it at all we can cross out the zero and then we can do a 421 times 1 which is just 421 and then we can add back that zero so the answer would be 4210 and let's try 681 times 15 681 times 15 1 times 5 is 5 8 times 5 is 40 times 5 is 40 we add the 4 here 6 times 5 is 30 30 plus 4 is 34 and we add this here here so that we can move to the next digit 1 times 1 is 1 8 times 1 is 8 6 times 1 is 6 and now we can multiply it 5 plus 0 is 5 0 plus 1 is 1 4 plus 8 is 12. We can add that 1 here. 1 plus 3 is 4, and 4 plus 6 is 10. So, 681 times 15 is 10,215. Here, let's look at number 1. 2,545 plus 233. So 5 plus 3 is 8, 4 plus 3 is 7, 5 plus 2 is also 7, and 2 plus 0 is 2. So 2,545 plus 223 is 2,778. <clears throat> Let's look at number seven, five thousand three hundred and twenty-four 
plus 358. So 4 plus 8 is 12. Add the 1 here. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 5 is 8. <clears throat> 3 plus 3 is 6. Oops, 6. And then 5 plus 0 is 5. So 5,324 plus 213 is 5,682. Moving on to the last page, let's read number one. Sally has a total of 5,230 seashells to sell. She is able to sell 1,242 of the seashells to Sammy. How many seashells does Sally have left to sell? So, she has 5,230 seashells, and she sold, so she got rid of, so we're going to subtract, 1,242 shells to Sammy. So, now we're going to subtract, oh, this is going to be 10, 10, which is 10 minus 2 is 8. This will turn into 12, which is also 8. This will turn into 11, which is 9. And then lastly, this will turn into 4, which is 3. So, um, Sally will have 3,988 seashells. Seashells left. Let's read <clears throat> the last question. Jimmy has four boxes of crayons. In each box, there are 36 crayons. How many total crayons does Jimmy have? So he has four boxes of crayons, and in each, there are 36. So we have to count how many. Um, 36 crayons are in 4. So to do that, we have to multiply. So we're going to do 36 times 4, which is 6 times 4 is 24. And we add the 2 here. So 3 times 4 is 12, and 12 plus 2 is 14. So 100 and Jimmy has 144 crayons in total.